Hi, my name is Alan. I'm at the Mayborn Museum on the Baylor campus in Waco, Texas. We're a natural and cultural history museum, and we also have a multi-level discovery center that folks can visit and a historic village outdoors. We may not be the first site that you think of when you're looking for art, especially since we have a wonderful art museum right next door, but we actually have several murals throughout our space, and some of them even have Easter eggs for you to find. This is the Texas Forest Exhibit. Since the 19th century, museums have been using murals and natural spaces to immerse visitors into their experience. This mural behind me is home to one of the Easter eggs that I mentioned before. Back when the Mayborn was preparing to open, the director at the time was inspired by everyone's hard work. So she asked the artist to sneak penguins into some of the murals. She was inspired to add penguins because penguins are known for their perseverance. And one of our very first Easter eggs is in this mural right here. At 14 feet tall, the Columbian mammoth could seem overwhelming in size. And with this mural, they could be seeming to come to life, especially when you check out this detail here. Artist Lee Jamison included that detail when he created this artwork in 2008. Lee Jamison, a Texas artist, has his work in private collections across the state, as well as the Driscoll Hotel in Austin. He also created a mural for the Waco Mammoth National Monument. And speaking of mammoths, this exhibit shows off casts that we have from the Waco Mammoth National Monument. This exhibit showcases creatures of the past that roamed across the Texas Plains during the Ice Age. And inspired by this, by this science, Carl Umloff, artist in residence at Baylor, created and donated this work to the Mayborn. Discovered in the 1970s in Bosque County, the Horn Rock Shelter has been a place of shelter through history, from modern day history all the way back to Paleo-Indian times. Al Redder, one of the first archaeologists to dig this site, donated many of those specimens to the Smithsonian with the understanding that they would be on long-term loan at the Mayborn Museum. Mr. Jameson, who we mentioned before, created this piece here to represent that work. He used the trompe l'oeil style, forgive my pronunciation, that style shows objects that appear to be here in real life when really they're two-dimensional. Later, the artist added something to recognize Mr. Redder's mentor, Mr. Frank Watt. Up in the top right is a picture of Mr. Watt working on his field notes after a day of working at the site. Thank you for joining us on this tour of some of the hidden art at the Mayborn Museum. Next time you come visit, I hope you come to find some art of your own.